Oh, what's up guys? I feel like a bug in one of those Venus flytraps. And before we get started, I did a video on if tanning beds are bad for you or not. That's definitely something that needs to be cleared out of the way. So if you guys haven't seen that, you know, the down low is basically, you know, the actual UVB, the sunlight coming from the bulbs, well, technically not sunlight, but the light coming from the bulbs that darkens our skin, that's what they want you to think is bad for you. It's not. The actual downside of tanning beds is the magnetic fields and the high power levels and electricity that's required to power them. Uh, but we'll touch on that later. So if you guys want to watch that video, definitely check it out and then you can come back to this one. But I'm going to go over today how to get an affordable tanning setup in your home. You know, with how this summer has been with all the smog, it's been raining practically almost every day. And even the days when the sun does come out, there's clouds or there's smog conveniently just blocking that one spot of sun. You know, the only way for us to really be healthy, stimulate the skin recycling, collagen production, all of that stuff is to have a tanning bed in your home. And it's uh, probably better to get it now before the winter time. I'm guessing it's, you know, a lot of people trying to buy tanning beds in the winter. So there's a few things you need to do. One is get a used tanning bed on Facebook Marketplace. Two is get it installed. And three is replace the bulbs. My total cost for this is around 1500, but I paid someone to pick up the tanning bed for me. So, you know, if you're okay with driving a van or something and you look a little harder, I think all of this can be done easily for less than a thousand dollars. So this is a SunQuest Pro 24 XL. There's tons of these on Facebook Marketplace used. You know, this was recommended to me by this tanning guy I was talking to. I was trying to get him to build me like a custom device or something. And he actually recommended I get one of these. This was his favorite model. It's like a workhorse. They're consistent. They're reliable. There's a lot of them and they're affordable. I thought this was newer. And then when I looked on the, uh, on the cereal panel, 1991 made in Holland. So, hey, it, it works perfectly. That's a testament to the, the craftsmanship of this. But this thing is uh, older than me. Older than me. <laughs> Go figure. So, I think I paid $300 for this, but I had to pay the guy a few hundred to put it in his trailer because this is not something you can fit in an SUV. Uh, you need two guys to lift it. And if you need to take the top off to fit it in your car, you know, it's, it's definitely a two man job, but got this on Facebook marketplace, made sure, you know, it worked all the bulbs turned on because if it doesn't, then you're, you're going to have to replace some starters and stuff, which is not that difficult, but ideally, you know, with how many of these are out there and how many people are trying to sell them, you can definitely find one that has all the starters working and all the bulbs working. So after I got the tanning bed here, the next step was to run the electric line because this does not run on regular 120 volt electricity. It's on 220. So depending on where your circuit breaker is, depending on where you put this, it's going to be between three and $500 to get an electrician to install this tanning bed. Uh, that's probably uh, the most irritating thing. You know, if you don't have an electrician, you know, or someone to do it, you know, not getting charged too much, but realistically it shouldn't be more than you know, two to four hours of work for the electrician and they shouldn't bill you more than like 150 to $200 an hour. So we're talking, you know, three to 400 for the tanning bed, three to 400 to run a 220 line. I'll show you guys the, the plug here. So you guys can see this is not like a regular 120 volt outlet plug. You need a special plug to put this in. I'll just go over a few more things when it comes to the type of tanning bed. This is what I'm familiar with. This is what I was recommended to buy. Any of the SunQuest models are going to be full bulbs down the whole bed, which is important because you don't want any face lamps or any specialized, you know, mechanical stuff that might need to be replaced. That's a lot harder to do. And you're sure it's on 220 electric. You know, if you find a commercial tanning bed for sale, I think most of those are on three phase electric and you know, you don't want to get an inverter in your house. You're not going to have enough power to run a commercial tanning bed in your home. So, you want to make sure it's a residential tanning bed that runs on 220 and that it has long bulbs. You want to go with the brands. You want to do that other stuff. This is really the safest bet. 
So once you have your tanning bed, once you have the electrical set up, then obviously you've made sure everything is working. Even if all the bulbs in the bed work, you know, it's helpful to ask the owner, hey, how old are these bulbs? Where are they from? Because every single one was working, but they were like 20 years old. You know, the owner told me that these bulbs were new, but what she meant was they were 20 year old bulbs that had been sitting in a box unused. So yeah, technically they're new, but technically they're also 20 years old. So those older bulbs are much weaker. They have lower UVB and they're not nearly as effective for tanning. You know, I was in that bed for like half an hour with those bulbs and I didn't feel anything. So I called up my tanning buddy and I was like, Hey, I've been sitting in this bed all day and I'm not feeling the UVB. And he goes, Oh, well the bulbs are older and you need to replace them. So uh, I went to tanning lamps for less.com and he recommended I get these uh, Sunmaster Cougar bulbs. These are the highest UVB bulbs you can purchase. So in regards to vitamin D production, I think the UVB on these bulbs is 9.5%, which is very high compared to other tanning bulbs. Usually they're around two or 3%. So we replaced all of the bulbs in this bed with the Sunmaster Cougar high UVB bulbs. Uh, there were some other bronzing ones he recommended. So I was kind of like trying to figure out which ones to go with. And I just decided ultimately uh, to go with the higher UVB bulbs and you want a bulb that's as strong as possible because you want to minimize your time in the tanning bed to reduce your exposure to the magnetic and electric fields of the bed. So, you know, if you come in here for 10 minutes, three times a week, it's not that big of a deal. But if you have some weak bulbs and you got to sit in this thing for a long period of time, you know, you're exposing yourself to pretty high levels of magnetic fields for long periods of time. It's a pretty simple job on, on, on these models. You know, these, uh, these wires that hold the bulbs and they just kind of pull right off. It's hard to break the wires. You can't really mess it up. You do have to be careful when putting the bulbs in. Just make sure not to break them. Just be careful because uh, they're not that expensive, but it's kind of annoying to buy some replacement ones. Honestly, if, if you get some bulbs from tanning lamps for less.com, I would just get one or two extra, spend a few dollars just in case. And then on this part here, you know, there's just like two Phillips head screws on the end. This comes up really easy. You pull the acrylic out and it's a super easy, simple job to, uh, to do all the stuff related to this tanning bed guys. I'm, I'm not mechanically inclined. So this whole process was very simple, very easy and, and using Facebook marketplace and, uh, the right things made this very affordable because I mean, these beds new, I think they're, you know, two, three, four thousand dollars each. So definitely, not cheap and you know most people aren't going to drop that much money on a tanning bed setup but if you can do it in your own home for less than a thousand dollars it makes a lot of sense i've been using this maybe once or twice a week now but uh in the winter maybe i'll do it two or three times it's honestly just to to really stimulate the melanin production in the skin to keep the skin recycling you know this isn't something where you're going to try to blast your face off like you would four or five hours in the summer sun this is to either like balance out a tan on your face and hands or in the winter months to just get a little bit of color and and keep that UVB coming in slightly. It's not a total replacement for the sun by any means whatsoever, but it's a good substitute in these current circumstances we're having, uh, especially with the weather and the smog and everything. So uh, I really prioritize getting this ASAP after I saw how the weather was. You know, because if you're not getting at least like one or two days of sun a week, it's kind of hard to optimize and recover your health. Yeah, so guys, it works. Turns on nice and easy. Now that's actually the front of the bed on my left, your right. Uh, but um, I figured there's more mechanical stuff on that end of the bed. So I've been lying with my head on the foot end of the tanning bed because all, all the wires and the plug and everything is on that side of the bed. So I figured, and I can, I can actually test it. I probably should. I figured the magnetic field levels are higher on this side. So when I'm tanning, if I lie on this side, it's probably slightly less exposure because they uh, dissipate very quickly with proximity. Did we touch on everything? 
I think so, yeah. So basically just go to Facebook Marketplace, find a bed that's somewhat working. There's so many of these on there, guys, and they're all like two to five hundred dollars each. Some of them are really cheap. Get an electrician to run your 220 line, cost a few hundred bucks, and then replace all the bulbs with the high UVB bulbs. I'll, I'll put that website um, uh, on the screen or something, uh, just so you guys know where I got the bulbs from. But yeah, this was something I kind of had to figure out myself, and it was something I was thinking about doing for a while. Uh, so I figured I could share my experiences with you guys, so you don't have to <laughs> figure it out on your own either. Uh, but thank you guys for joining me. If you do want to support me, uh, you can go to frank and check out all of my interesting health-oriented businesses. Definitely want to be taking magnesium, uh, maybe even vitamin K2, and of course getting plenty of animal protein in the diet when you're, uh, you're getting a lot of sun exposure. We have all that stuff on organsupplements.com. And uh, outside of that, guys, please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, make sure to subscribe and check that notification bell, and I'll see you guys soon. If I don't get stuck in this tanning bed.